Hello, hello my dear students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as US Naval Forces. Um, once again, we have destroyed yet another carrier. Seems like we've been destroying those left, right and centre recently. The Japanese wanted to just waste those away, throw them straight at us, but we are still in a bit of a pickle uh, despite getting that major victory. We do still have a battleship task force either side of us and I believe either a Chitose or a Nishin um, CV escort. Um, which is uh, something uh, something to think about there. We will be doing some massive scouting. I have a very specific uh, idea in mind with that. Uh, it does appear to be the most uh, efficient way to scout possible. So um, let's uh, not babble on anymore. Let's go straight into the strategic map and have a look at what we can do. Alrighty then, so um, we did sight the Nagato and CV just over here as per the position of our planes here. So let's say uh, they are all going back to base, not a problem. Do still have some Wildcats out here. I'm going to tell them to come back down here just to help get some sight over there. The drum, the, uh, <laughs> the submarine over here, is having a look to see if that can intercept. Not too likely that will be able to catch up as it is rather slow being a submarine. The idea to scout though is going to be to launch... Um, a single aircraft off. Um, the idea was Wildcats. I think we're going to go for the uh, Wasp then. I'm going to launch some Wildcats simply because they have greater range. Although having said that, uh, what is the range I'm looking for? Um, let's see. I think, yeah, let's go for the Wildcats off of here. Uh, manage, uh, launch aircraft. Are we going to launch single uh, fighters off in every direction? That could have something to it and that will then circle around and have a look around. I'll get back to you once I've done that and we could have an update from there. Okay so we have told a few air cobras as well as the uh, most possible wildcats we can from the wasp to launch. Before we press play though we are going to send the bogue back to release and repair just so it can get its air groups back and how long is that going to take? About three or four days I imagine. Bogue yet four days in the dockyard not a problem that'll come out with the Portland and that'll be a very nice usage for us indeed. But before we do that, we were going to look at getting some sort of new ship in the area, weren't we? As per your uh, comments in the uh, previous episode, I have looked at all of them and it was a very Colorado um, superiority uh, comment section there. So that's exactly what we're going to go for. Lovely stuff. What was 65? Lovely, lovely command points there. Going to go for that. Um, and it's going to go straight up, I think, with these destroyers that were uh, with the Bogue like that. So they're going to merge groups as well. Just going to swap positions here like that so it doesn't get caught out by any uh, submarines on the way. And that's going to join us over there. That will be a tad slow, but not a problem. It is a slow battleship, but it is more firepower for us, especially with the caliber and hopefully the accuracy of these guns. Hoping they are rather, rather good, but they will absolutely destroy anything they come across. Unless it's a Yamato, of course, that may be a small problem there. Um, but lovely stuff. If we don't manage to sink that Nagato or Congo in the next few days, hopefully we'll get a decent surface engagement with that. Um, otherwise, I think we can wait for um, our other ships to be reimbursed when they come out of the dockyard. We can get those back again. Um, and that should be good. So let's see what we can spot with these Wildcats, shall we? Let's ruddy buddy go. Press play. Let's see, yep, they're right there still. Not a problem. We know exactly where they are. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to hit them with exactly just yet, but that's not a problem. Hopefully, uh, our planes here will come back and rearm and refuel before they get to Guadalcanal, but we'll just have to see, I'm afraid, there because we, you know, we do have some Dauntlesses. Could launch them out, and in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Going to launch all of them with AP bombs, of course, to try and hit, I think, some supply ships um, before they get to Guadalcanal. So let's ruddy bloody go. See what else we can spot, although they are retreating. A Kingfisher has come into contact. Also, that's going to also, gonna go down. Can't do much about that. We are going to try and get this Gaso to try and get them as they're retreating there, then. And we'll see about that. Let's see then. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem there. Let's go to keep an eye on this and keep redirecting the the course of the Gaso here. See what happens with that. And that is a lovely little arc. We should definitely spot anything in this range. If uh, there is, in fact, anything to spot, we should get that Congo group rather, rather nicely there. Okay, so we have come into contact with the uh, 
enemy ships to the Nagato task force with our gazer here but the question is have we been spotted yet they do have a lot of roofs and a peat overhead does that mean they've spotted us yet again before we start firing off torpedoes at them we are in a rather close position to them actually only about what are we from the lead ship uh, 3.1 kilometers so if they do have sonar up they will very likely detect us uh, let's look at visibility and such there's no layer for us to hide under but the sea state is six general visibility is 43 percent we get a target the Nagato, of course we get to identify it as such let's just go to Japanese battleships because that is funnily enough what it is and we're going to click like that see what happens there stop our turn so that we're making less noise and hope that they're not actually going to be evading us does not appear to be the case we're at a very tight angle from them so the spread is actually going to be I think we have six torpedoes out uh, ready so we're going to launch all six but at a one degree spread there and fire off before they start turning because that does appear to be what they're doing so let's get that off before they turn far too much it's very crippled this battleship so hopefully we'll be able to get it there it is going very slowly and once we have launched all our torpedoes off which I do believe is the case it is indeed we are going to dive down and get out get the hell out of there um, yeah let's get the scope down of course lovely stuff and turn all the way out I think in this sort of direction here get the hell out of there so their destroyers have no chance of getting us now we'll see what happens with this um, thin spread but along a lot of ships to uh, actually hit in the meantime could possibly hit the lead ship here I believe this is a Yugumo Kagura of some so actually no it's not a Shidatsu because it only has two guns which is rather interesting lovely design there hmm Oh, so I do, I do, uh, I do like the Shiratsu. It's a strange, a strange little ship. Um, more torpedoes for much less artillery firepower, but that's not what you're getting for. Not what you get your uh, Japanese destroyers for, of course. But we'll see how this uh, strike goes, and I'll see you in a second. And that is very unfortunate again there. We did get rid of the, uh, well we have not quite sunk the Shiratsu just yet. Let's take a quick report actually on that. It does appear to be in heavy and heavy, which is it's taking two torpedoes. It really should go down. We do have Wildcats in the area. If we wanted to be rather greedy, we could go for that or even uh, strafe the, uh, the cargo ships as they're here. And that would save our Dauntless as a job um, of targeting them. It's very tempted to do this actually, but we do have some aircraft, we do still have some roofs coming in, so I'm actually going to finish them off, I think, while we have the chance. Um, we have shot down a couple already, including a peat, I believe, which is great stuff, so that makes us the tad bit safer. We're going to get these wildcats straight in onto these roofs just here, and that will make uh, the skies a tad clearer for any further attack aircraft coming in from us which is great stuff. We haven't lost any Wildcats just yet, which is brilliant. Um, so this is the chance for that to happen. <laughs> Going to turn this one onto the lead roof over here because these two are already being targeted. Let's increase the speed just a bit here so he gets in on there. Our submarine, by the way, has got out rather safely. I am going to tell it to uh, reduce its speed to zero and go to silent. We'll keep an eye on that. The uh, torpedoes have passed round, unfortunately. We have just destroyed a roof, which is brilliant stuff, although it does appear that... No, they haven't changed their orders. Okay, just getting a little trouble getting on the backs of these roofs. You might lose this wildcat while we get into position here. Come on, guys. You can do this. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> please, please, please. Uh, there's nothing else in the area that we know of, which is brilliant stuff. Oh, we did lose a wildcat in the end there. It is rather unfortunate there. Rather, rather unfortunate. Uh, have we changed our orders again? We are on, let's see. I think we might have done, which is rather strange. It appears when we lose perhaps uh, a plane, they decide they know better. So let's just target this uh, roof over here with this wildcat. Hopefully we get on the back of it okay there. Mm. 
Alrighty then, so we didn't decide to strafe anything with that. I think it's probably uh, better to conserve our wildcats there. We did lose two uh, to those roofs as well, so it would not be the most effective or smart decision there. So we are going to go with ahead with these um, Dauntlesses here. Going to keep monitoring the position of uh, the Nagato Task Force there. I think we're going to keep um, at least one wildcat around to have a quick look at that and keep that uh, in sight there for our Dauntlesses and to just give them a tiniest bit of protection as well or to distract any more fighters over there. Bit worried that we haven't spotted anything over here. Uh, we really should have seen that Congo Task Force by now if it was uh, anywhere near our marker here. So that really needs to come up um, very quickly if we're going to uh, know what to do with that at all. But uh, fingers crossed really. Let's uh, have another look at what's going on. And is this going to reappear? Hmm, they're all converging on our gate, so they're nowhere here. But this group is now retreating fully, which is brilliant stuff. So that means our Dauntlesses can actually go for a very nice target. I think we might go for a cruiser, actually, because it's not entirely guaranteed that we'll get the Nagato down with these light bombs. So let's go into that. We do have, it appears, a scout in the area but no fighters. We'll see exactly how that translates in the tactical view here. We are right on top of them, which is brilliant stuff. Is that going to come up on the map for us to get a target? Lovely stuff. If we were patient, we could get the uh, Geyser in as well. So we'll have a look at that. We'll see what happens there. Not too likely we'll use that because at most it can go uh, nine kilometers uh, or nine knots rather. I don't know why I keep saying kilometers. <laughs> I do apologize, I should know better. Um, I don't want to surface it uh, in front of a battleship. That might be a bad idea if you ask me. So uh, what to go for is the question. And I think the Mogami is certainly the uh, easier and higher priority cruiser here. So what we're gonna do is go straight for it like this. Gonna go make a very nice line over it just like that and get a line ahead going like that. And I think we're gonna go for a line ahead with the first two over it like that. Excellent stuff. Form up. And we're going to get two more to come round and hit it from the side. Like that. And they can form up in a Vic, I think. That would be brilliant. And the rest can do the same. Form up in a Vic. And come round like that. Lovely stuff. Let's get into position. Oh, this should be a sunk ship. Like I say, I don't necessarily want to go for Nagato because it's not guaranteed we'll get it down. Um, but you never know. I certainly handle a Mogami in a uh, surface uh, fight, but we've had hit this guy with so many bombs already. It's not necessarily the best of ideas. We are going to increase our speed, I think, for all of our groups just so we get into position a little bit better. Just going to pause there so we can get this lot in as well very nicely. Thank you very much. Just going to uh, change their commands as well like that so they turn in very nicely over there. And we're going to tell this group to attack as well because they're pretty much in position there. And they'll start running out of distance. And we're going to tell this group to attack now as well. Lovely, lovely stuff. Come on guys, you got this. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, come on, come on, come on. That should be a good... That's a good line. Very nice line on the Mogami there. We haven't lost anything. How's it going to look? Oh, very, very nice as well. Got the second group coming in now. Oh, very, very nice. I think all of our bombs hit in that group. Brilliant stuff. They need to get straight out. We have our second group coming in as well. And we're going to tell them to attack before we forget. Lovely stuff. Let's look at the register down here. Only one dub bomb and possibly no misses there. Looking brilliant. Come on, come on, come on. Looking good. There's a first group going in there. Nice little side attack. Get some more targets on there. Really unlucky. Maybe we should have got everyone to do a line ahead from uh, stem to stern or stern to bow, rather. That's just, no, oh, that's very, very unlucky. Certainly not a sunk Mogami there. No. Oh. <laughs> you do these things, they sound good in your head. <laughs> 
Well, let's retreat out before we do lose any Dauntlesses, I think. Actually, I think we'll be okay. We can wait around for the fires to uh, burn out a little bit more, I think. Just get everyone out of their AA range and we'll see what happens there. We do, of course, have this uh, Shiratsu, which didn't go down. It has recovered fairly well. It's quite a battered task force now. If we could get this in a surface engagement, it would be rather, um, rather endangered there. Of course, the Nagato's guns are still likely online. Uh, which would be the problem. The guns, of course, won't be offline until either a magazine is destroyed or the ship itself is sunk. But uh, these fires are looking decent on the Mogami. It is, uh, where are we, heavy and moderate, so it should be pretty decent. A lot of things offline, they're very easy target if we do come into contact with it later on. What do we have over here? It was a foot attacker over here. Okay, interesting stuff. But I think that's looking pretty decent. And we can come and retreat out. And there we go, yet again, another somewhat disappointing strike there, but not to worry, we can still go after it. We do still have one more flight of Dauntlesses left on the carrier because they did come back to Riam, which is brilliant stuff. We can go straight over there and maybe hit that Mogami again. We'll see what happens if we come into contact with it. So let's go straight ahead and see what happens. Hopefully we'll pick something up with these scouts over here. We have so many concentrated in this area. It does make me wonder what's going on. I am going to double check uh, this line down here with some ducks uh, just to come and see if we have missed anything like that. Can we launch one more? There we go. Lovely stuff. Just going to make sure there's nothing lurking about down here. I'll see you in a second. All right, so course is opening up on fire on some Jake scouting us out. Not a problem there. We have come into contact with this task force once again. Hopefully we'll get something now. It is very tempting to go for either Mogami or Nagaso. We are going to go for Mogami since that is possibly the safer bet here. Going to go straight over. Again, make a line over. Lovely stuff. You know the drill by now. <laughs> <laughs> Should be easy stuff, but of course, uh, we do like to make a mess of things. So why wouldn't we? It's uh, much more interesting like that, isn't it? Surely. <laughs> um, you know, I think we're going to hit it with um, two loads of dive bombers to start with. And the other two can come in and see what happens afterwards, perhaps finish it off. Uh, surely two uh, groups will be enough to finish it off. And we'll see what happens there. Perhaps the uh, other two groups can go for the Shiratsu, uh, which uh, is very close to sinking as well. Look at the list on that. <laughs> the bow there, very close to being submerged. And the Mogami is basically dead in the water. So we should have this down at least um, in this engagement here. So we're going to increase the speed of our first two flights so they get ahead of the trailing two. And we should be safe just there. Um, and we'll see how this first flight goes, I think. We're getting into a very nice position here. Very nice indeed, actually. That should be good. I'm going to tell them to attack from here. And this group, I think, just needs to adjust their course a tad, come over to the Mogami starboard, and we should be good like that. So tell them to attack, and we keep the other two in uh, reserves in the rear.
And there we go, the Mogami finally down there. Not a completely wasted day there. We did decide to hit the Nagato, as you saw, um, because I was rather sure that the Mogami would go down to those fires. We were, and it did hit it in a uh, critical position there. But of course, not enough for the dive bombers to uh, get the Nagato, as to be expected, really. But it is now in a truly critical condition and it will be going back to the uh, dockyard in Rabul, I have no doubt. So we'll come out later on. We could try and get it again once the Wasp has uh, uh, rearmed, but uh, we'll see. We do need to wait 0.9 hours to launch the thing off of there. How are we looking with our... We do have Mitchells and Dauntlesses available on Guadalcanal, actually. And you know what? I think that would be a good idea to go with that. So, just going to double check the range on there, I mean absolutely got to be able to get there, not a problem at all. Um, so that is definitely something we want to do there, try and level bomb the hell out of that once again. So let's go straight in there and we'll see what happens. Our carrier based aircraft has had to come back to uh, refuel, so that will be out of action for the next uh, hour or so as it does that uh, with all of the Wildcats we sent out to scout. So we will have to relaunch some planes uh, in the area. It's a real shame. It does look like they're coming off of this direction though. So that's perhaps where we want to focus our flights in the future. And in fact, that's what I'm gonna do with some Kingfishers and such over here to start with. Uh, just get them out in a small line and go either way like that. If I can click on there, lovely stuff. And we're gonna get another Kingfisher out in that similar direction just scouting out like that and hopefully we'll pick something up that's a very specific area to look for but we never know never know your chances <laughs> so i'll see you back in a second hopefully hitting this nagato again I'll tell you what, I'm really fed up with this Nagato now. <laughs> Just evading all of our bombs there pretty much. Still not going down. I launched some uh, float planes with um, torpedoes to try and catch it, but we've lost sight of it now. Um, no idea why, because it's still on the same course. We launched it straight after our attack there. But now uh, we're going full ham with our scousing and seeing what we can get. Because we really need to know where these things are now. Nothing around Rabool. Nothing too close in any direction there. Makes Really makes you wonder where they've gone now. And it's just getting to the later hours now, so we are going to have to wait until the uh, next morning to actually spot anything with our planes there. That's such a shame. <laughs> really disgusting stuff there. They should not get away that easily. Um, because, like I said, where would they have gone? They were right here. And I launched um, planes from the Santa Isabel straight on top of them, but no sight of them. But uh, what can you do, eh? What can you do? Just disappear, these ships. Get a word, tell our tam... Oh, well, not the tam, but to our drum to uh, patrol around here. See if we can catch anything coming to uh, the Shortland Islands. But otherwise, I'll see you in the morning and we'll see what happens then. Okay, so it's the next morning, of course, and we are going to launch all of our planes from the Wasp that we can in as many directions as possible. Um, that makes sense to try and find this Nagato and Congo Task Force. Our uh, uh, Colorado is coming up to meet our Cruiser Task Force over here. Perhaps we'll split them off. Our Task Force Ace over here is going to actually transfer some um, troops and supplies from Santa Isabel over to Guadalcanal over the next few days. And that should be absolutely brilliant for building up the defences there. But still no sign of anything. Uh, in range over here to strike us or us to strike of course which is rather worrying it does really does make me worry where uh, the enemy has disappeared to um, there we go there's something we'll try and see what that is probably just a single uh, oiler there once again where would you be there we go let's see yeah just a single oiler again we are going to strafe us of course but uh, where the bloody hell are these uh, battleships gone? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> oh, Christ. It just the ghost ships sometimes. AI just says, nope, I've had enough. Vanish. You've had, you've had, uh, you've sunk a ship today. Why would you want to sink anymore? I'm out. 
<laughs> Wish we could do the same sometimes. Oh, this one's got a flat gun on it, has it? Okay, interesting. Might actually lose a wildcat here. That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Gonna take a couple of strafing runs because um, we just don't have the firepower. And uh, we did actually miss with the loss of those shots, actually, which is rather interesting. But uh, I think we'll do this and uh, see what happens afterwards. Tell it to attack again. We do have another one in the area. Might as well tell it to come round whilst it's here. I love yourself. Tell it to increase its speed. But surely this will uh, manage to sink the ship before that comes anywhere near. And there we go. Well, um, I'm afraid that is all we have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, rather unfortunate we didn't get that ruddy bloody Nagato again. That's really getting on my nerves now. But we did get the consolation prize for Mogami, which is rather nice. I believe that's our first Mogami. If we double check very quickly with the heavy cruisers and go to a Mogami. And that is, in fact, our first. So they have two more remaining, which is brilliant stuff. This is a massive win for us. Go to uh, our losses still remaining at these few here we have of course recently uh, lost the tambor which is rather sad very unlucky to do that um just better management on my part as ever but yeah with all of these ships sunk we're so in the lead now and now uh, it should be doing very very nicely and that is excellent stuff and that was a tie in the previous episode that uh, we did get which is excellent stuff so um thank you very much for watching um hope to get something in the next one i want to sink a whole task force you know i want to i want my deci decisive uh, surface engagement finally do need to try and take that but uh, i'm sure that will come as a surprise for us as ever in the future but once again thank you very much for watching hope to hear your comments in the section below always very much appreciated but i've been the edify gamer and i hope all nights and days are auspicious goodbye